Hi, <clears throat> I have a secret to share with you. Um, apparently, it was a secret that I didn't keep very well. I am on the advisory committee for the community wellness and safety strategy for the city of Lethbridge. And I didn't realize that that was supposed to be a secret. Uh, so yesterday at a public event, I announced that that was the case, that I was on that committee. So it's not a big issue. I, I inquired afterwards, oop, I didn't know that was a secret. What, why, why is that a secret? And basically the thought process is they don't want the advisory committee members to get um, inundated with calls to, to, what would you say, to change their perception or change their programs or to help keep their programs in place. And uh, so that's kind of the thought process behind it. So one, I don't mind being receiving phone calls from folks that are in the good social profit, the social profit type agencies that exist. Uh, we have fantastic people in those agencies. I know many of them. I have many of them that are clients or I've worked with them in a volunteer role and they are very caring, committed, helpful people who are trying to make lives better for people who have um, a lot of challenges, whether it's abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, or not getting enough to eat, or, you know, not having the, you know, having challenges in their ability, their maturity level to, to be able to function in society, those kind of things. So there is so many people doing such great work in our community already. It's already happening. So the thought process, I think my thought in terms of the whole CWSS strategy is just basically to be able to say, hey, these agencies, agency A is doing this job really, really well, better than agency B, C, or D. But agency B is doing this job well. So then basically we kind of use the strengths of our agencies and of the people in those agencies and try and do better for the people in our community that really need the help. So I see this as being a really a win-win type of a situation where we can optimize the resources and the value of uh, that, that these agencies bring to our community because there's like fantastic people that I have met that are working to help make life better for kids, that are working to help make life better for seniors, that are really trying to make a huge difference in our community. And I think maybe from the perspective of a larger perspective to see, oh, well, these agencies doing this or this agency doing that, three agencies are doing this. Well, which one does it best? And then try and gear that towards the agency that has the expertise, the, the strategy, the plan to do that best. So I think it's kind of a, will be a realignment of services that will, in essence, serve these, I'm, I was going to say hard to serve, but maybe that's not the right term for it, people who have challenges in their lives to help them succeed better. And, you know, just think about it in a perfect world, if we could say, five-year-old Sarah or five-year-old Michael needs X services. He needs A, B, and C for services. Agency A does awesome at function C, at the service he needs C. And then from there, you kind of say, all right, here's the path that we're going we're gonna to put these kids through so to get the, what they need so they can have good lives. So I think it's I'm optimistic about it. I don't think it's going to be a negative thing. I don't think it's taken away um, from, from the good work that's happening now. But I think coordinating those efforts will deliver better results for the people that we're trying to serve in the community. And I think that'll be a very positive thing. So the secret is you're not supposed to know that I'm on the CWSS Advisory Committee. Oops, sorry, you do. Uh, but... I, I don't see that as any way as a big problem. If you have something about your agency that you want to tell me about, I would gladly listen to you about it. I, I know many of the agencies that what they do, especially those that work with children who are experiencing high uh, adverse childhood experiences. So for those agencies, especially, I'm very tuned in to them and what they're trying to do. So anyways, 
I am on that advisory committee. There's the secret. Uh, I think in the end, this is going to be, there's going to be some pain and discomfort. I understand that. But in the end, if we can do, we collectively, or you collectively, if you were the agency, the, the agency providing the services, if we can do a better job for these people in our community that really need the help, well, then it's going to be great for those people that are getting the help they need. But further, our community is going to be a lot safer, a lot more enjoyable to, to live in as well, right? And the other thing is the cost, the, the cost savings, right? To do nothing is crazy because we're just spending huge, huge dollars and not generating any returns. Um, so to if it's homelessness, if it's substance use disorders, whatever the issue is, if it's food, they don't have enough food, if it's a place where they don't have a place to stay, that they will be safe from um, predators, let's call them that, uh, then that would be great if there is a coordination of working those together and get better results for the people that we, and when I say we, I pretty much mean you, are trying to serve. So I'm excited about it. I would love to hear from you if you've got great ideas or thoughts in terms of how we can pull this off and do a better job for those people that need that help and in providing the better services for them or a better recovery for them or a better protocol for them or a better program for them that's going to give them a better life and also give our community a better community or create a better community. Well, that's that's awesome if we can pull that off. So I would welcome your comments. I know why now they, they wanted to keep it kind of quiet, but just to kind of protect the folks like myself, the peers that are on that advisory committee. And by the way, I'm probably the, the I'm probably going to be the least contributor to that committee because the people around the table are very smart, very dedicated. They know, they understand social services. They understand the problems of the, of the clients they're trying to serve. They're going to be fantastic. Um, I'm going to try and try and contribute to in any way I can. However, I think the resources around the, the table there are exceptional and they're going to really make a difference. And I hope I can be part of that. Uh, for some of them, man, probably my best role would be to kind of carry their purse or something. It's, it's like they know what they're doing and I'm just going to contribute a little bit if I can. So um, I hope you're well. I hope that collectively we create a way better community than we have right now by helping the individuals who need the help the most to have better lives themselves. And the better lives that they have collectively, the better the community that we're going to have. And in terms of costs, think of like on, on the preventative side, the numbers are all over the place, but pretty much you can count on about a $16 return for every dollar invested in preventative programs, right? And to keep those adverse childhood experiences in check or, or, contained as much as possible or to prevent them from it ever, ever happening. That would even be better. That might be a little bit mm, too optimistic, but if that could happen, that would be fantastic. Give better lives a better trajectory in terms of better health, better ability to be a good parent, better ability to be an employee, better ability to be a community member. And, and in doing that, perhaps create where they have great, long, healthy, productive lives that are enjoyable and happy, and our society, or our community does better as well. So, proud to contribute in any way I can, but man, there's a lot of really good, smart people around the table that are gonna know better than I what the solutions are. But coordinating those efforts to deliver better results for those clients and for our community members is fantastic. I'm excited about that. So anyways, if you want to contact me, please do. You can Facebook message me or text me or call me. 587-220-8840 uh, is my cell number. And keep well. Thanks.